take a bit of a break, not a commercial break, but a coffee break. You can spend a little or a lot on machines that brew up coffee at home, but how do they rate? I think Australians have a love affair, not only with coffee, but it seems espresso. And everyone wants to have an espresso machine sitting up on their bench, in their kitchen, and they want to impress their friends making great coffee. But which coffee machine? Lining up to put manual and automatic espresso machines under the pump, four of Australia's finest baristas. Paul Bassett, world barista champion. Rob Forsyth, 30 years coffee experience from Forsyth's Coffee. San Gabrielian, seven years experience. And Gavin Folden from Single Origin Cafe. Three categories, best cup of coffee, best value for money, and user friendly. Do you think one machine will be all three? Oh yes. The one you're selling. <laughs> At $89, the Sunbeam Manual Espresso is the cheapest tested. Definitely simple to use, yeah. While the Philips Sancio has an impressive price tag of $129, our baristas aren't so positive about the taste. Wow, that doesn't taste like coffee much at all, does it? No. Next up is the new espresso machine from Krupps, $249. Surprising. This one's got a smaller filter basket, though, so your organic content's going to be less, I think. And the only other machine tested under $500 is the Breville Cafe Series. So far, the standout at $400. It's a bit sweeter. Yeah, it's going to be a bit sweeter. In the mid-range at $599 is the Paul Bassett designed Sunbeam manual machine. It has a twin boiler, yeah. meaning you can make coffee and froth the milk at the same time. In your opinion, is this a good machine? Great machine. For $600 all day long. At $750, you can buy this automatic coffee machine with an inbuilt grinder from Seiko. That's a zero. A zero? Mm. What makes this a zero? What makes this fire? Well, if you looked at the creme before, there's a nice dark rich chest up colour that has no cream at all. Very watery. No cream. It's been a bit challenging um, user friendly. So not a good wrap on the Seiko from our baristas. But what about the Sunbeam automatic machine at $850? Not the same sort of texture that we're getting from the manual style machines. It's okay. By automatic standards? By automatic standards, yeah. It's a good cup. Finally, at the top end of the domestic market, at $2,300, well, it's for the serious coffee lovers. The Expolar, it's the only machine Rob Forsyth sells. You've got temperature control, you've got uh, pump control. Temperature control, the group has, it's a commercial style machine for your domestic home. For <laughs> espresso gurus, this is the machine. This is the machine to have. If you want to spend that kind of money, you should aim to get one of these. Of all the machines tested, ranging in price from $89 to $2,300, which makes the best cup of coffee? Oh, I'm actually torn on because I like the traditional um, manual control of the extra bar. And, and, but I have to say that that's exceptionally good value at $600. Give you a good cup of coffee. Sam, the best cup of coffee? I'd have to agree with Rob. I'm, I am torn between the two. That is a different, it's a commercial grade. And the espresso, I liked in both of them equally. Are you surprised? Very. For $600, it's very impressive. So the $600 manual sunbeam gets the nod as the best cup of coffee. Next up was the best value for money. The sunbeam also won this category. I'd like to see you, and it's not a duty. How, how long will it keep on doing a good cup of coffee? Well, what's, the, what's the warranty on this machine? Five year commercial warranty. $600 for five years, not bad, Rob. That is stunning. Yeah. And finally, which machine is user friendly? You'd think one of the automatic machines would get that gong. I was a bit disappointed with the fully automatic machines. I thought there was. I had assumed that there was better quality espresso and I was very surprised with the lower end they actually made a better espresso than the higher end machines. Would you agree with that Rob? Yeah, the full, the full automatics are very disappointing. 
Our baristas picked the Expolar and Sunbeam as the easiest to use. So the $600 Sunbeam was the overall winner. Our experts recommend you spend an extra $250 to buy a good quality grinder. And whoever gets into making coffee loves it. It's a passion. Ah.